Ying is probably the most frustrating upper to go against in the entire game strictly because of her gadget. That gadget being the Candela device that Ying can hold up to four of them at a time. By rolling it on the floor or sending it through a soft wall, similar to what Fuse can do, you can release a series of flashbangs. The Candela's flash duration is the same as a regular flashbang, however, it will shoot out six of the flashes and you can be blinded multiple times. However, the flash duration does not stack with one another, so you won't be blind for an entire minute. That would be one hell of a buff to Yang, and let's pray to god that will never happen. If you're an old player returning to Siege and you just so happen to be watching this video, then you know back in the day, if you looked away from the flashbang, you would not be flashed. However, that mechanic is completely removed. If you do look away from a flashbang, you will still be flashed, but it will be for much shorter. And that logic also applies to the Yin Candelas. So no matter what, if there's not an ADS trying to stop it, or a my Magnet at least, then you will be flash guaranteed because it will shoot out 6 like I said before, and it's just not a fun time as a defender. There is two more crucial things you need to know about the Candelas. Number one, if Ying has a Candela in her hand, or if there's one being deployed and activated, Ying will have immunity to it so she will not be flashed, however her teammates will, so you need to look out for that. The second thing you need to know about the Candelas is depending on how long you hold it for, it will dictate how long it takes to deploy. So example, look at the Candela itself, it is activating three lights. Now that it is at all three lights, it will immediately go off. And hearing that sound scares me, however if you just immediately throw it, it will just roll around until it activates. And yes, it will still do the flash effect, so no matter what you do, it will still go off. So if you needed to immediately activate, then you need to hold it down. But if you don't care, then you can just kind of throw it down. Another thing to know about it is... Alright. <laughs> Another thing to know about it is, for depending on how long you hold it for, obviously it will dictate how quickly it activates. So let's see, I get it to two charges. It will activate later, but it will still activate quicker than what it would if I don't charge it up at all. I also did a hint at the fact that she is countered by Jaeger and Lamai, and by extension a Rooney. But then again, you also come with smoke grenades that I'm going to mention later, and you can just clear out the ADSs or my magnets. It doesn't matter because your Candelas will still do something. I'm not going to sugarcoat the fact that I think Yin's gadget is a little bit overpowered, and especially if you want to take map control properly and get a few kills with it, then just bring Ying for her Candelas alone. And not to mention, she comes with an amazing loadout as well. Ying's T95 LMG has good damage, an amazing magazine size of 81 rounds in total, and has incredibly low recoil even with the ankle grip, however it does have a slightly lower fire rate to compensate for that, but it's an LMG, let's be honest guys. I'm not going to talk about her suppressed shotgun because it's not really that good, and again, you're an attacker, you should not be running a shotgun at all. But she does come with my favorite pistol in the entire game that has good damage, a solid fire rate, and has a decent magazine size to come with it too. And her secondary gadgets also complement her main gadget, and also works well with the LMG. To start, she comes with the hard breach charge, which is really good at getting catches, or just making a line of sight and reinforced walls, nothing wrong here. You two players are going to fear at the fact that she still has smoke grenades to this day, because she was a part of the smoke matic back in the day, and, well, she still has it, and they're still effective with her. Unfortunately, that's the end of the video, and I say unfortunately because that means Ying is a very simple operator for anyone to learn, and that's the main issue. Because of how strong her gadget can be, I think there needs to be a little bit more of a skill gap with her gadget. In brain dead operators like Ying, to where you can just throw your gadget in a room and potentially get one or two kills out of it, is very unfun to go against, and it's not really rewarding to play either because it's so easy. But considering the fact no one really plays her and they're not really running with her either, Ubisoft is probably going to buff her, and that's the day I start banning Ying out of retaliation. What am I talking about? I'm already banning Ying, so like that wouldn't make a difference. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and say that's the end of the video. If you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you're interested in any other operators that I have covered, I have made a guide for almost every operator in the game currently, which there is almost 70 now. So go ahead and check out the players because you might find your new favorite operator. And not to mention, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers at the time of this recording. So any sub and any attention you can help me get is really appreciated. And I don't think I say it enough how much it does mean to me that y'all help me out. And with that said, I am Carter Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night, and goodbye.